All right, so in this video, I'm going to look at more factorizing. I'm going to look at factorizing these type of expressions here, where you've got what's called a group of four terms. So we have one, two, three, four terms in this particular expression. We want to factorize this particular expression here. So what we do, it's similar to the um, common factor um, method that we used in a previous video. So what we do here really is we take them in pairs. So I'm going to take these two here and I'm going to factorize them using common factor method. Then I'm going to take these two here and do exactly the same thing. So let's let's start and see what happens. Um, I'm just going to look at these two here first. Um, what's common first of all uh, to the numbers would be a 3. You've got a 3 here and a 6 here. So 3 will divide into 3 and 3 will divide into 6. You've got an A here, but there's no A here, so that's no good to us. We have a B here and a B here, so we can take B out here. Uh, there's a Y here, but there's no Y here, so we can't use that. So if I take 3B or divide 3AB by 3B, I'm left with A. In other words, 3B times A is 3AB, so that's fine. We have a minus here. Now we've got a 3B here. We've got to divide that into 6BY. Well, th 6 divided by 3 is 2 b divided by b is 1 so i leave that out and we have the y there as well just checking that 3b times a is 3ab which is fine 3b times 2y 3 times 2 is 6 b times y is by so that's fine as well and plus times minus is minus so we factorize the these two here or this part of the expression here by doing the uh, common factor method now we're going to do exactly the same here. So if we look at these two here, we've got an A here, but we've no A on this side. We've got a 1 here, we've a 2 here, so really it's just going to be 1. But we've got an X and an X that's common. So I can take out plus X. Now be very careful here, don't leave out this plus here. It's a very common mistake. Don't leave out the sign, whatever the sign may be here. So X and X here, so we can take out X. And there's a y here, but y is not common to both of these. So if I divide ax by x, I get a. If I divide uh, minus by a plus, I'll get minus. And if I divide 2xy by x, I'll just end up with 2y. Just to check that, plus times plus is plus. x times a is ax. Minus divided, or say, let's look at it this way. Plus times minus is minus, so that's fine. Uh, x times 2y is 2xy, so that's okay. Now what you should notice here is that what's inside the bracket here is exactly the same as what's inside the bracket here, and that's what you're looking for. If you found that what's inside both brackets is different, then you've done something wrong or you need to relook at um, what way you factorize these pairs of uh, terms. So in this case, we're okay. We have a minus 2y, a minus 2y, so that's fine. So what we're going to do now really is take 3b and the plus x. We're going to put those together, 3b plus x. And then we're going to put these two together here, or just a minus 2y here. And that's it. Really what we've done here is we have uh, this entire expression here has two terms. It has this term here and this term here. And what's common to both of those terms is a minus 2y. So really we're factorizing again. We're taking a minus 2y out of both terms outside the bracket and we're left with 3b plus x. Now, if you um, check this out, if you um, multiply out these two here, you should end up with this uh, expression here, what you started with. So just to check that, if, uh, if you like, you don't have to do this, but just to show you that it works, let's just multiply these two here out and see, do we get what we started with? Well, if we multiply these two out, the way we've been doing it is multiply 3b by a minus 2y, and then we take the plus x, and we're going to multiply that by a minus 2y as well. You can see that this here is exactly the same as this here. If we multiply these out, we get 3ab minus 6by plus ax minus 2xy, which is exactly the same as what we started with up here. So it does work. This here 
is what we get when we factorize this expression here. So if we multiply these two together, we will end up with what we started with. OK, so let's just try another example. Um, in this case, I'm going to take, um, let's take uh, 12 PR plus 2ST minus 3PT minus 8RS. OK, so let's look at this and see what we can do. <coughs> now, if we try to factorize this, let's uh, we do the same thing again. We'll just take the first two terms here. Um, if we try to factorize this, let's see, from the numbers point of view, we can we, we have a 12 and a 2, so 2 is a common factor there. We have a P and an R and an S and a T, so there's nothing else that, that, will, that we can take out of these two here that divides into these two. So if we divide this by 2, we end up with 6P R. If we divide this by 2, we end up with ST. Now, if we look at these two here, then we've got um, a 3 and an 8. Nothing will divide into a 3 and an 8. There isn't a common factor greater than 1, <coughs> so that doesn't work. We have a P here, and we have no P here, so that doesn't work. We have a T here. We've no T here, so we're stuck. We can do nothing. So uh, this doesn't work. We have to abandon this. So let's um, look at it again. Um, what we really need to do here is, initially we took these two terms here together. What we need to do is rearrange the terms. So what I'm going to do is take these two terms here and I'm going to rearrange them. I'm going to swap them around. So I'm going to write this expression as 12PR minus 3PT plus 2ST minus 8RS. All I've done is switch, switch these two around. Now let's try again and see what happens. Well, we have a 3 and a 12, so there's a 3 um, would be the highest common factor there. We have a P here and a P here, so we can take P out here. There's an R, there's no R, there's a T, there's no T. OK, so let's just do that. 3 into 12 is 4, P into P is 1, and we're left with R plus minus, so that's minus here. 3 into 3 is 1, P into P is 1, and we are left with T here. Now let's look at these two. Well, we've got a 2 here and an 8, so we can take out a plus 2. Uh, we have an S here and an S here, so let's take out the S. We have a T here, no T. We have an R here, no R, so that's as much as we can do. So plus 2S, plus 2S would leaves us with T. If we divide plus 2S, T by plus 2S, we're left with T. Minus divided by plus is minus. Uh, 8 divided by 2 is 4 or here. And then S divided by S is 1. Now, OK, so we managed to factorize both this pair and this pair here. But what if you, when you look in the brackets here, we've got a 4 or minus T. Here we've got a T minus 4 or. So we don't quite have the same uh, terms in the bracket, so we can't go any further with this uh, as it stands at the moment. But what we can do here is, if you look at this, we've got a plus 4R here, we've got a minus 4R here. We've got a minus T here, we've got a plus T here. <coughs> so what I can do here is change this sign to a minus, and that should work for us. So let's have a look. 3P. 4 or minus t. I'm going to take a minus 2s here. I'm going to change these signs as well. So this would become 4 or instead of minus 4 or it's plus 4 or. This would become minus t here instead of a plus t. Now we have the same in both brackets. Let me just double check that this here actually does work, that we will end up with these two terms here if we multiply it out. Well, minus times plus is minus. So uh, that'll be a minus here. 2 times 4 is 8. S times R is RS. So if we multiply these two terms here, we do get this term here. So that's perfect. Let's see, can we get this one now? Minus times minus is plus. 
2 times 1 here is 2, that's fine. S times T is ST. So when we multiply minus 2S by minus T, we do get this term here. So we, when we multiply this out here, we do get both of these terms. So that's fine. So this is fine. This works. Now we've got uh, this term here, and or this expression here, and this expression here in the brackets. They're both the same, exactly the same. So that's fine. We can proceed now. So we do what we did in the first example. This is just 3P minus 2S. This 3P, this minus 2S. And what's in the bracket here? 4R minus T. Perfect. Now, this is what we should get when we factorize this expression here. This is what we started with, remember. So let's just double check that to see do we end up with that. Um, okay, so let's do it. Um, so we want 3p times 4r minus t minus 2s times 4r minus t. So I'm multiplying out these. This times all of this and this term here times all of this. So what will that give me? 3p times 4r, uh, 3 times 4 is 12pr, plus times minus is minus 3pt, and here then minus times plus is minus, 2 times 4, 8, s times r, sr, minus times minus plus 2st. Well, we have a 12pr, we have a 12pr, we have a minus 3pt, we have a minus 3pt, we have a minus 8SR, minus 8SR, plus 2ST, plus 2ST, so that's fine. When we multiply these two terms here together, or these two expressions rather together, we do get what we started with. So these two here, they are factors of this expression here.